this bit of deliciousness that we have right here is Raid Ban Eyewear Ink by CEDs. Maybe SIDS. Oh, Nuka Cola is behind this, so there's a bit of lore to it. Welcome to the future of eyewear. Nuka Cola, the creators of the world's greatest soft drink, pulled together some talented fashionistas, scientists, and radiation specialists in 2076 to bring you the new line of eyewear for your glow in the Commonwealth. In the unforeseen event of ahem, total atomic annihilation, the Rad Band lenses employ a Nuka Tech radiation application that produces a small field around the user, minimizing the effects of radiation. Wow, science! We have two models currently available. Firstly, the Rad Band Sniper, and I'm showing you off the Rad Band Snipers because I like them a lot. They come in a multitude of colors. You've got the classic tint, you've got pink, you've got gold, you've got smoke. It's just a limitless choice. You've even got the hipster glasses, which they call soft shells. We have the Soft Shell series for you sciencey nerd types that wander the Commonwealth seeing all but two feet in front of you, <laughs> waiting for your next chance to split the atom. Our next mod is a great one at that. Another fantastic handgun to add to the arsenal of Fallout 4 is the Glock 20 Pistol by Z06 Frank. This mod, version 1.2, adds the Glock 18 with mods. To the wasteland the glock will spawn only on synths the mod includes a suppressor reflex sight and various receivers now since there isn't much of the description of this weapon i guess that leaves me to give an overall consensus or my two cents if you will i mean that's kind of what you're here for just a little bit not much so far i find the textures to be immaculate they're fantastic this is a very very nice model. It integrates in the game very well. The only sort of gripes I could possibly have for this gun is the fact it doesn't sit too well in your hands when you're in first person, but really, that's like the biggest issue I could find. The mods for this gun are limited to about two things, or three. The mod author said before, the muzzle, the reflex sight, silencer. Not a big deal, nor a deal breaker. It's a fantastic gun. It's great. It's just beautiful. The attention to detail is staggering. I mean, look at this thing. It's fantastic. Really. It just, it didn't, you have to use it. Once you put it in the game, you're forced to use it because it's so beautiful. Someone put a lot of effort into this and it shows. I like this mod. And it got to come out. Well, I feel so good. This next mod I saw on Fallout Pro's Steam profile when he posted a photo. It's Metal Gear Solid All-in-One Standalone by Akiba91. This mod basically gives you Metal Gear Solid characters. Metal Gear Solid mods are finally back. A lot of you have asked me to re-upload my files. I did. From the eye patches to the hair to the sneaking suit, I finally had the approval by Konami itself to use their assets to make mods, as you can see from the attached pictures. So I'm back with everything all-in-one. What is it? Well, this basically is an all-in-one package of Akiba's mods from Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, and Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. This is now supported by Armor Smith Extended, which makes getting the parts pretty easy. The only way to get it easier is if you use console command. It includes Big Boss or Venom Snake in all his states of incarnation during Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, and Ground Zeroes as well as giving you the ability to use quiet. It also now includes Skullface if you so choose to play as him. I've tested the mod and it is very well made. Also, if you want Quiet's outfit to be compatible with CBBE, check the mod SBX82. This next fantastic gun mod is the FI-88 Standalone Tactical Shotgun by Skibida. When I started making this mod, I took inspirations from another mod called Extended Weapons Mods by Akanama. 
I was under the incorrect impression that he had been using vanilla acids for his mod, some of which I have used in this mod. They were not vanilla, and as such, I used them without permission. There is no excuse for this. Akinama has been gracious enough to allow me to keep this mod up and not make a formal complaint against me. Now the conditions that I add this message and credit him fully as he deserves. I am deeply sorry. Please go on to his page and download and endorse his mod. Without it, this mod would never have been possible. The FI-88 Tactical Shotgun. I really like the USAS-12 and the SPAS-12, and I'm too impatient to wait for someone who can actually model and make either one. To that end, I made this, the FI-88, with custom sounds, leveled, listed integration, and a few sets of mods that include 14 receivers, 5 barrels, 4 stocks, 5 sights, 8 magazines, and 3 muzzles. Edit. Newly added in version 1.1. 8 scope variants, 1 suppressor, automatic receivers that actually increase the rate of fire. Well, the mod author has pretty much covered everything for this mod. And it is a great mod. I really like this mod. This mod is so awesome that basically I no longer use the rail gun. You know, the steam gun that shoots railway spikes. That used to be like my big nut crusher gun. This gun totally suppresses it. Once you fully mod it, it becomes so OP, people just explode. You walk in the room and end everyone. And with the new fallout patch, you're just spraying so much ammo. Rocks are crumbling from the wall and you're just screaming in delight because no one can stand in the way of you and your oversized, overpowered shotgun. That makes you feel like a real man. Take that, dad, you dick. Well, <laughs> oh man. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I'll have more videos up very soon because I'm a, a little behind on the Fallout mods. This would have been 12 minutes straight had I not cut it in half. So, yeah, bear with me here, people. I'm sorry, my page always has something going up.